Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. Wait a minute. No. Mega modded series. What am I saying? I died in the last episode and y'all know why. It's because I took the, the demon, the demon child. But Judas to mother, you've got to be forking with me. That's kind of spicy. But I kind of like it. Do you know what? Straight up pop this. Do you know, do you know what I really want to get? I want to get the Judas Fez item as Judas. Because it'll reset our health to one, which it's already at. And it'll mean that we can get free activations of uh, Book of Belial, which will be pretty awesome. I also want to... Oh my god. This room scared me for a second, then I'll tell you that for sure. I definitely want that reflected sack. I'll say that for sure. This is some sauce. That is some fat sauce in that room. Oh my god, I want that. Okay, we got some... We got some pretty... Good stuff going on. Oh, no. oh no, this could be the death of us. Let's be very careful, because that was a bit of damage that I should not have taken. Um, hmm, I've. <laughs> oh no! If we die, I'll just roll it back as Judas, because I enjoy playing Judas. There's definitely a possibility we die here. Please give me a key game. I could easily get like a book of virtues here or something. You little sauce pot. How? dare you? How diggity dare you? Explosifer. What What a horrible item to get on this character. No, it's actually a pretty good item, but it definitely does scare me. Oh, and look, no key in the shop. You better give me, you better give me that latch key. Is it latch key? Latch key. I think it's latch key that gives us two keys when we pick it up. Your bear. Oh, ho, ho, no. We are so heckin' hecked. We are so heckin' hex. I told you, I fucking knew it. <laughs> Anyways, roll it back. Who did this? Who did this? Which one of y'all did this? No, it's actually a pretty cool room. Um, Brittle Bones. Yeah, uh, that's pretty. It's pretty good, actually. It, it technically gives us quite a lot more HP, which is good. It does scare me a little bit. Don't lose the burn heart. Don't rock the burn. Don't rock the bone, baby. I have to say, I'm in a bit of a weird mood. Like, I, I was feeling kind of sleepy, and I think it was in the last episode I was saying that me and my girlfriend are planning on having, like, a big old night in tonight. And just, I didn't want to be sleepy for it, and I felt sleepy, so I decided, do you know what? I'm gonna have some caffeine kind of late in the day. So I had like, I've got this like little mix thing called Sneak. It's like an energy drink replacement. Basically, it's like energy drink without without any other like evil shit in it. <laughs> so you do Oh God, oh God, oh God. Um, without any of the stuff in it that's gonna make me die later in life, or at least gonna try to not make me die later in life. Um, so I had a, like a half, a half measure of that, like a, a little, a little cup. God damn, it's hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm so hyped up right now. Like, this is my fourth Isaac recording of the day. I'm just going off on one. I don't even know what's happening. But, Judas is a fun one. I'm a little bit scaredy scaredy of the fact that uh, we've got no red hearts. But, otherwise pretty good. Oh, and the small rock with the chicken strips. Oh, yeah. I love that meme. With the chicken strips. Hiya! Anyone that hasn't seen it's going to think I'm crazy, but trust me, it's a thing. Anyway, so let's try and not lose any of our burn hearts here. Unfortunately, we're getting, um... Excuse me. I would like to enter here. This is a bit sad. Um... I guess... I guess not then. Uh, I think there was one of these that required a key to get bombs. Maybe we'll go for that. Uh, we're still going to mother as well, so that's still a thing. Right, that one required a bomb. This one required a key, though, right? It did. Okay, we're going to waste a bomb here, but better than nothing. Also, secret room potential is on that wall just below us there. This one to the right here. Boom shakalaka. This should give us access to the coins as well. Nice. That's pretty good. That's some pretty good stuff. We, we haven't even been in the shop yet. It's always exciting when you get a bunch of money and you still haven't seen the shop and you're like, ooh, what goodies. Give me mysterious gift. Mysterious gift. Come on. Do you know what? That is actually okay. I will grab it. 
We get all stats up, pair familiar. I don't know if it's just pair familiar on pickup or if it's pair familiar that we gain. I think it's pair familiar that we gain also. That's a pretty good, uh, pretty good little all stats up there. I know which one you come out of, you little shit. Let's go. Oh my god. Health is health is actually very, very, very good for Judas. Like, having empty burn hearts is a bit suckety suck, but at the same time, we will recover. And there you go, we filled one of them halfway up. Oh, it's a frog. It's a frog. Oh! I see your your little your little whispers. Stay away from me, fiend. Oh my god. Do you know, I don't know why this just came into my head as a topic to talk about, but is that, do, do any of you have like a, a turn of phrase that's like, it's not normal, it's not something you hear regularly, but you just really like it. <laughs> one of them, it's a bit of a weird one, but one of them that I heard recently, it's not one of my creation, I'll admit, but I was reading something online the other day, and so <laughs> basically it was a story about someone that like went to the store and they were shopping. Hey, we got the uh, we got the pail again. I do want the pail, but at the same time, do you know what? I'm gonna grab the pail. I'm gonna grab the pail mainly because we can get some rainbow poops and stuff out of it, which I think could be pretty good. Um, and also, yeah, that. But yeah, the fact that we can get rainbow poops out of it, we just got petrified poop. What a combo! What a heckin' combo. But yeah, like, the story was about someone that, like, went to the store and, like, a child farted on them, which is just, is just immature. But the way they worded it was just probably the best thing I've ever seen. Instead of saying, a child came up to me and farted on me, they put, the child whispered me a bum secret. And I don't know why, but I find that fucking hilarious. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> What a way of wording it. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of the, uh, I can't remember the name of the film now. Ooh, we will, uh, we will check this out. Can't remember the name of the film now. I actually do think the battery thing is what is kind of worth, by the way. Uh, let's go and get Book of Belial real quick. Let's suck that bad boy down. Um, but yeah, I can't remember the name of the film now. Um, but... Uh, do you know what? It's it's googling time. Let's let's go and find out. Um, Stifler. Who was he played by? Sean William Scott. Okay, Sean William Scott, IMDb. Right, I've got to find this now because I'm 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 invested. It was quite quite a quite an old film, but it's not that old, is it? Surely it's not pre two thousands. It's not. It's can't. It can't be. I can't find it. I've gone way too deep into this. Uh, into this little story here. I can't find it. Role models. There it is. Role models. I don't know if you've seen role models, but role models is a fantastic film. Um, but essentially, uh, so we're gonna suck that up grab you um essentially in that film um the uh <laughs> one of the basically it's about two characters that they they work for like an energy drink sales company and one of them's like going through a, a messy break with his girlfriend and ends up like ramping his car up of a up a school statue or something and they get in trouble and they have to do like community ordered um care service where they have to like look after kids and literally be their role models um i'm gonna buy this and try this out uh just because i want to try and get a full heal in, in here there's one okay good we'll also pop our cracked key here Correct. um but yeah like they have to be role models for these kids and they have to, to look them, uh, look after them and one of them's played by uh christopher mince plots which is um as most people might know um the guy who plays uh mclovin in Superbad, and um <laughs> There's this line in that film where he's on the phone to this this girlfriend that he's had like a messy breakup with, and are you kidding me? I did all of this for all this HP, and you're just gonna give me the blood bag? I thought I was smart. I did all of this messing around. Whatever, whatever. You do you, game. You do you. 
God damn it. Right, we'll try and get into the other secret room with the other charge of the pale here. Um, yeah, he's trying to like get back and uh, Chris Moon's Platt's character, Augie, he's like a fucking massive, um, massive nerd. He just uh, spends most of his days playing, um, there you go, playing live action role play. God damn, there's so many hearts about. Where's my blood donation? Oh, there is a sack room actually. Okay, we can, we can make some plays here. Although, there is a bit of sauce. There's a little bit of sauce involved here because we have burn hearts, which means we're going to have to do a lot of backtracking. A lot of backtracking, which is a pain in the ass, but hey, her. God damn it. It's so annoying that it breaks the burn hearts, but there you go. Um, and he's on the phone with her and, and he's like, tell her that you want to see her whispering eye. And he's like, what? What? It's like, just just, just tell her before you hang up, say, I want to see your whispering eye. And he says it, and Augie's just like, it means vagina. And I'm like, oh god, I don't, I probably explained that in the worst way possible, but I find it fucking hilarious. The whispering eye, what a fucking name. God damn, we're like, how far in, we're 11 minutes in and I'm talking about vaginas. What an episode. What an episode. We should probably destroy these poops considering we've got petrified. We might get a heart out of one of them. Or some pennies. Come on, only pennies. I don't want only pennies. Right, this we we are gonna get a payout here. It's just gonna take some time, which is why we're why we're storing it up. But yeah, Role, Role Models is such a good film. It's a film that I always consistently forget the name of. But I I, I absolutely love it. I just, to be fair, it's got a lot of people uh, I really like in it. It's got um, Paul Rudd in it as well. Paul Rudd's just a fucking, he's amazing. Like, have y'all seen Celery Man? Celery Man's amazing. That's a, it's a Tim and Eric skit with uh, Paul Rudd in it. And it's just so surreal. It's like him, like, sat in this big sort of open room on a computer. And all he does is just... Like, he's, he's like, now let's get to work. And he's, like, on a computer looking at a bunch of files. And it's all just various versions of him dancing in different costumes. And, ah, uh, it's just, it's just fucking, ah, oh, it's so funny. It's so hard to explain not sound completely lame. But it is, it is really funny. Anyone that's seen Celery Man knows. Anyone that hasn't seen Celery Man, go and watch it. And also, he's, like, really good in, like, the, um... He's really good in the Marvel films. Also, I watched um, I watched a Netflix original with him in it recently. It came out like last year, I think. Um, I can't remember the name of that either now. Uh, this... Do you know what? This soul heart's going anyways. So just, just press it. Hey, that's pretty nice. Um, wait a minute. Do I need this? I'm going to mother, so I don't, but... I'm halfway through fighting you now. Well, I won't say halfway, but I'm I'm somewhat ways through fighting you now, so. One minute, one minute, one minute. Okay. Ah, oh, you big bad bitch. Although, ooh, I forgot. We get fire rate ups for losing burn hearts. That was something I did not consider. Right, give me that. Pop that. Nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, lose my other burn heart, just to just to get that going. And then I'm, I'm gonna fight you as well, because why not? But yeah, I forgot that we'd get fire rate upgrades for our uh, lost burn hearts. I always forget that. By the way, I don't know why Book of Lyle uh, Locust is doing, but he's he's doing his best. He's doing his best. But yeah, it was called something like Knowing Me, Knowing You or something like that. I can't, oh, no, Living With Yourself, that's what it's called. Um, and it was so good. I uh, can't believe I lost that soul heart then. Basically, it's about um, about a guy that... Um, I'm saying erm a lot. It, it really annoys me when I notice that I'm like stuttering up my words. But it's just kind of the way that I speak, especially on caffeine. Like when I'm... I say on caffeine, like it's some sort of drug. It literally is. But you know what I mean? Like... I'm all I'm all over the place. My my brain's scrambled. I'm 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 just I'm so caffeined up and it's kind of crazy. My God. Anyways, but yes, uh, he 
ends up like he's just a really shitty guy and generally is having lots of fights with his girlfriend or well i think it's fiance actually or wife i can't remember but anyways he's having a lot of fights with her and she like really wants to get pregnant and he's like really it won't say not into it but he's like really bummed out about it and like he's just he's just having a pretty bad life with work and everything and he wants to better himself and so he finds this like exclusive spa that, that allows you to better yourself and it, like it, he has to get recommended by a friend and his friend has been there and recommends him Ooh. 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 I know petrified poop's good, but I kind of want this. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Um, and he wants to better himself. And so his friend gives him the referral to the spa, and it costs him, like, all of their life savings. It's, like, ten grand or something. And he goes, and he comes out feeling way better. Like, a, a completely new man. He's, 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 he's basically reborn. Um, he feels so, so, so much better. Um, and he doesn't really know what they did. And it, it turns out that, like, a little bit down the ways, after he gets home to his wife and he's feeling better and... He like he makes uh, some nice he makes like a nice meal and everything and he's feeling really good about everything and then it cuts away to him waking up in the forest and you're like wait a minute do i actually have to kill these things apparently i do uh, it cuts away to him like waking up in the forest um oh okay uh i can get behind a guppy's tail and yeah you're kind of like wait what why is he in the forest now and he's like underneath the ground in like a plastic bag it was like he's like wrapped up and he kind of like reaches out of this plastic bag and unearths himself and like climbs out into the forest and he's like nude and he's like running all over the place wondering what the fuck's happening and he's got no id nothing on him and he makes his way back home and it turns out he was cloned and all of his negativity all of his worst traits were removed from the clone so now there's a good version of him and the real version of him. And he was supposed to die. Um, I'll take King Baby. He was supposed to, to like, uh, the, the, the real version of him was supposed to get, like, n get gone. <laughs> be 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 killed. And the, the, the new version, the improved version, was meant to take over his life as the as the improved him. Um, and yeah, like, he's... I don't know why I'm using all my keys, but he, he's like actually lived through it and uh, <laughs> now he has to live with this clone of him that not only has all of his memories and and thinks that he lives his life, but is infinitely better than him and everyone likes him far, far more. <laughs> so it's like, it's a really interesting like idea for a series, idea for a, for a show where You've not earned, like, people have done the whole living with a clone of yourself before. That's that's kind of, I wouldn't say it's overplayed, but it's a trope that's been done many times before. But now they've added in this extra mix of, not only do you have to live with your clone, but you have to share your life with your clone that has all your memories, believes that they should be the one rightfully living your life, and is better than you in every way, and everyone around you knows it. And so they have to, they have to kind of, like, share their life, and eventually, like, the wife finds out what's going on, and all sorts of shit kicks off. It's just, it's just fantastic. Oh, I should have gone to the uh, mines. We're trying to... Oh, I forgot the knife piece. Fuck. Okay, it's because I had the key piece on me. Because I have the, um, the finished key on me. I guess we're doing Mega Satan now. Yeah, I guess we're doing Mega Satan now. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. I get, I got too enveloped in my story. To enveloped in the show and yeah I, I really liked it i think it was only one season and i don't know if it's gonna get a second it, fe it felt like a oh two golden pennies hell yeah although one of them disappeared very quickly that was two pretty pathetic uh, golden pennies there but anyways um yeah it, it very very much felt like one season was kind of a wrap and you didn't need a second season but they might do one i don't actually know um did we have a rainbow poop before I'm going to gamble and say we did. This is a big gamble. Albeit, this is a big gamble. But I'm going to say that we did have a rainbow poop over there. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be sad. It'd be nice if uh, if poops got... Um... Ooh, we can also do our boss trap room now. Yeah. 
And the thing is, if we lose a Burn Heart, I'm not going to be super sad because we get Fire right out of it. Also, Salvation. It's the best. Ooh, also, kind of forgot about the fact that we get a huge Salvation Ring when we take damage. It's pretty awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. Back over this way. Need some keys, game. Would be delighted to see some keys. Yeah, we did have a rainbow poop. I remembered correctly. My brain is functional. I feel feel like I've taken too much cap. Like, I don't even get it. I had like a half measure. You, you get this you get this spoon, and you fill the spoon up and you put it into like this this shaker of water. And instead I just did a glass of water and did like a half spoon. And oh my god, I'm cracked out my mind right now. I am like on another level of caffeine. It's kind of crazy. I, I drink caffeine a lot. I mean, most people that watch me know that I drink an energy drink basically every day. I've been trying to cut down as of late, but this is still kind of crazy. It's still kind of crazy. A nice bit of money there. I don't know if you can get uh, other types of pennies from Fool's Gold Rocks. It doesn't seem like you can. Oh, we got two keys now. Nice. I even know didn't even notice where we got those from, I'll be honest. Salvation absolutely popping off here. I'm hoping we get another rainbow poop on this floor so we can uh, play the um, blood, the blood donation machine or demon beggar a little bit. Especially the demon beggar, that'd be nice. Oh my god. I kind of forgot we had this trinket as well. More health to trade away is nice. What you got for us here? Ooh, Dark Prince's crown. Unfortunately, that's going to be a no-go for us. There's basically no way we ever get that to activate. Oh, you, you little bastard. Oh, when you've got the salvation to this large, it's just insane. Just auto kills everything. Oh, oh, beautiful. Squeezy's pretty awesome here. Oh, it's the Judas Fez. What was I saying earlier? Hell yeah, we'll take that. Do you know what? I'm taking that too. Ah, oh, the Giga Poop! The big, big poopies! Probably shouldn't have done it in this room thinking about it now, but we got the big poop. Don't think I need Brimstone Bombs. We're sitting pretty. Health is obviously bad, but we got the Judas thing. I was saying about that. Like, what if we get the Judas thing? That'd be awesome. And then Ayabal Isle's just great. Just bare piercing. Champion belt as well. And also we can refresh the shop with this bad boy. Tarot cloth, hell yes. I guess I'll grab onto that for now. Ooh, I should probably buy that to be honest. Options isn't really my style. Potato peeler doesn't do it for me either. It's gonna break next time, isn't it? Yep. Okay. We should probably destroy the uh, the these dude because they can give us crawl spaces, or they can give us the coupon, which I guess I'll use for reasons. Double sun card. Uh, we can we can we can utilize that somewhat. Right, let's go and play the demon beggar a little bit because we do have hearts about, and we do have these two burn hearts available. Gotta try it. Yes! I was like, is it activated with one burn heart? I don't know, but I've got to find out. It very much is. If we can manage to stick with this and keep it going like this, this will be really good. Right. One. Two. This might be a little tedious, I'll be honest. One. Two. Yeah, this might be a bit too tedious for me, actually. It's oh! Okay, no. I'm not, I'm not going back on that now. I can't be asked. I just walked into Spike's. The Salvation Ring just threw me right off there, but we got Dark Prince's Crown activated. This has been a stellar floor. Just stellar. My god. But damn it. Yeah, I, like, I don't know. I, I, I really like TV shows like that. I was talking uh, the other episode about um, watching Loki and that being like, a, it's like, I know that's planned to have another season, but at the minute it's just a one season show that's real good. Um, probably a secret room here then. Oh, wet, no? Okay. Um, 
yeah, it's just like a one season show that's real good. Um, and I like those where they're just kind of concise and pretty easy watching. They don't take too long to get through and they're just pretty fantastic. It's awesome. Oh, hello. I would like you, but right now... Where the hell's my pail? I forgot the pail. Heck. I took coupon by accident. It's not a bad thing. I actually think coupon is pretty good. Especially... Wait. Wait. I might have just accidentally made the best play of my entire life. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Also, boom bow. Did I accidentally just make an amazing play? Hell yes, I did. Oh. Oh, my goodness. He's a he's a genius, and he doesn't even know it. My god. The one true legend. The one true legend. Ooh. Bit of an M moment. I don't think so. Thank you. I don't think so. We've just been having some stellar runs recently. Like, the only times I ever die now are when I make just unfathomably stupid decisions on purpose, which honestly I'm never gonna stop doing. I I will admit I'll never I'll never stop doing that. Did we use our cracked key? We didn't. Did, oh no we did, we got the item room. I just realized that's not a real item room. Ah, 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 no How did that still hit me? I'm loving this auto activate Book of Belial effect going on. Very nice. Oh my lord, we got a lot of stuff out of that. Salvationa, salvationa. Right. Good. Ooh, that's something we don't actually want. Okay, sponsor random devil pickup. It can. Oh, I'm gonna just pop it once. This would be great. This would be gr I'm going to take it. I was going to say, it would be great. Oh, really? I can't even get past. Had we not have the coupon set up we've got. We've only got one more floor of Devil Deal item rooms, though. So I really think it's better that we just take this as it is and take the chalice. Because for one, we know the chalice is really good. And for two, we know it's kind of broken. Uh, we had it We had it before. If you managed to get like a tainted heart in there. It gets wacky. It gets real wacky. Okay. Well, skedaddle, skedoodle. Let's get gone. I, I just... I can't fathom how caffeined I am right now. I was planning on trying to be just lightly caffeined. Just a little bit. Just to, just to make sure I don't get too sleepy tonight. And turns out I'm like the most caffeined I've been in years. Devil deal, hello. Probably should have come into this thinking about the fact that, um... Oh, Twisted Pear. Hey, that was pretty good. Oh, we can just lose burn hearts on purpose here. And we got a spin down dice. Oh my god, it's just giving me burn hearts constantly. Another. Yes! <laughs> So much fire rate. Another, another. Ah, oh, you bugger. Another. Damn it. This thing just keeps locking itself back up again, doesn't it? Lump of coal, finally. Right, Twisted Pear is too good to not take. Do I spin down these? I think I do. Eh. We've already got one of those and blankets just not that good. I mean, although we do get one soul heart back. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's risky, but hey her. What am I if not a big risk taker? Um, ooh, and then smart boy plays here. Smart boy plays the biggest of brains you've ever seen. We go back and grab that Eternal Heart, and now we're still on one red heart and can activate the Dark Prince's Crown. That 
is what you call braining it. See, I, I have a bit of caffeine and it unlocks my third eye. My whispering eye, so to say. No, it doesn't. That would be strange. I don't have a whispering eye, I promise. I am in a very peculiar mood right now. Just go back and, like, check my commentary on the last three episodes. I recorded four episodes today. So check my commentary on the last three episodes and just see how drastically, how drastically it changes from those three episodes to this one. Because I assure you, it is a huge difference. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Did I just see that room? I'm confused. Black sack. I'll do it. I'll do it. Hey, another burn heart to lose. Thank you. I lost it on purpose. I just want the fire rate. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any cap. You can just keep going. So the more burn hearts we can get, the better. Also, Twisted Pear making this just amazing. I love it. A fire rate is just nutty. Nuttily buttily. So many chests as well. Guppy's tail is popping off right now. I like it. I feel like I've missed something. To be fair, that trinket, 5% chance on hit. Mm, we'll buy that. 5% chance on hit to get a uh, burn heart would be kind of good. Aha, with piercing, you are dead. I really want that. What on earth is this? You little devils. That was evil. <laughs> I do want that, but I need my... I think keeping Dark Princess Crown activated is far more valuable. I mean, considering with it all active, we have this much fire rate. Come on. Ah, oh, no burn heart this time. Heck. Big heck. Oh my god. Sir, would you mind lifting your face up for me? Sir. Thank you. So many of these. Ooh, okay, this is a good swap considering we don't have any item rooms left. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Really? Neither? You're ready to get pummeled, boy? Beautiful. Doesn't matter which one of these we go for. Lump of coal? For the double? The double lump of coal. Hell yes. Lump of coal 2 electric boogaloo. What I like to see. Hey! We should probably try and keep some keys now. Be a good idea. Don't know what's going on with my map right now, by the way. I just want to get rid of the fucking timer. Eh. I want the map to be small and the timer to be gone. Is that so hard? There you go. That's what I want. I want it like this all the time. Never change. Ghost baby, you say? You give me a ghost baby. How about you give me a little, a little saucy glitched heart? Break the game with a saucy glitched heart. Or blended black heart. That would also work. Right. I'm getting a lot of locusts going on here. Oh! Mr. Dolly. Beautiful. I did cost us a key. That's okay. Oh my god. That scared the living shit out of me. The door mimic every time. I catch them most times, but sometimes just fly a little bit under my radar. See, I've got this weird blend of being hyper enough to give me crazy focus and, like, play better than normal, but being so kind of hyped up from the caffeine that I'm playing quite quickly and so missing things I'd normally see. It's a weird blend of the two. Wow. 
We are demolishing bosses right now. Cracker Jacks will take for the chance of a better trinket. We did not get a better trinket. Now we've got to go all the way back to buy Ghost Baby. Mainly because Ghost Baby is going to give us a stat upgrade. Because it's a familiar. But, may but even more mainly, the mainest of mainlies. Mainly is starting to sound not really like a word anymore. Um, so that we can get back onto Dark Prince's crown. You see? Oh! For the conjoined as well. Mmm. With the chicken strips. Oh, yeah. You know it. Honestly. I don't know if I've ever been this caffeined in my life. And I've had so little. It's not even like... I had caffeine yesterday. It's not even like I've had a big break and it's like... My, my resistance, uh, my tolerance has lowered. It's just no. I, I don't know what's going on. Maybe I just got to drink a lot more water or something. I, I really don't know. But right now, brain, brain gone a bit funky. Brain wants its fast juice, as Jake Peralta would say. Ah, I'm getting hit so much. I want to keep my four keys at this point. Now we've got five. I mean, we could do Hush. Hush would be pretty easy. Hello. I think we blow everything here up. Oh, do you know what? That was actually a really dumb idea. I really should have used that at least once to get an extra familiar, get some extra stats. Hey, her though. It's whatever. It is what it is, Humbolio. Good, good. Like, I kind of do want to do Hush, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a bit worried about our low H HP. <sighs> we'll see. I'm going to take that. Come back this way. Grab that. Grab that. And I'm going to do Hush. Because I'm a mad lad. I think I think we've got enough we've got enough pizzazz to do this. It should be a quick enough fight. Cast the unknown. Ooh, Plato cookie, hell yes. And I guess I'll take a little gish. This is probably good for the fight itself. Okay. Yeah, for the fight, we'll take this in. Because Solar Gluttony doubled is going to be great, but mainly t for Twisted Pair. God damn, I didn't consider how crazy this would be. It's pretty crazy. I kind of might want to stick with uh, the Box of Friends, you know. This is pretty nutty. I wonder if that gave us a big stat boost as well. Probably not, right? Oh my god, look at this. People that don't like conjoined. What are you on? What sort of crack do you be smoking? Probably the same that I've apparently accidentally spiked myself with before this recording. Did I accidentally buy a, just a jar of powdered crack cocaine? Because, goddamn, I'm out of my mind right now. Well, this has been uh, eventful. Also, I can't believe we're reaching... Oh, fuck. I can't believe we're reaching with... Uh, what's it called? Our halo. These tears. Love it. The big beams of light. Not much you can do now, Mr. Hushy. Not much you can do now. A wall of shots envelop you. Wow, that was as easy as pie. I'm going to keep it. Do you know what? I'm going to keep it. I feel like this is a run where I should definitely keep it. Because for Mega Satan, it's going to be saucy. Oh, I can't believe we got Play-Doh Cookie with this as well. Play-Doh Cookie is so fun. That didn't hit either of those. Are you kidding me? 
There you go. Oh my god. But yeah, you can definitely tell my, my low energy recordings versus my high energy recordings. I don't think my low energy recordings are bad. I think they're actually quite chilled, especially for um, audio only listening. But these, just, just, just on another level, isn't it? Got a million thoughts racing through my brain and I'm just out of my mind. Oh my god, we froze him. <laughs> That's pretty funny. We don't have any keys, unfortunately, now though, which is a bit of a problem. Right, we do not need to use our active here. We can use it for uh, the boss. Question is, do I want to do the floor first? Probably, because we've got Guppy's uh, tail. I know we're going to get some golden chests, but we'll also get some brown chests as well. Which are easy for opening. And we might get some keys along the way too, actually. And we might get some health too. We kind of, we kind of need a lot of things right now. There's a lot of things on, on our docket. Beautiful. There's a key. There's a chest. Cat in a box. I think this is like at the start of a room, enemies have less health or something. Don't just get hit there. Bullshit. We don't need to do the boss. It's unnecessary pain. Honestly, I do think we could die. Like, our health is exceedingly low for what we're about to do, even with the damage that we have. you got to remember this damage cap. Boss armor going on. Vegemite, no thank you. Ugh. Offensively bad. Why do we still have the key, by the way? We open the Mega Satan door and we still have the key. What's that about? Oh, wait. Oh, we just didn't fully open the door last time, I see. We could re-roll our health, but I don't think that's a great idea. Oh my god. We're freezing everything. $3 bill on top of this? Hell yes. Hell yes. Give me that $3 bill. Yes! The poop bag. Temperance, lovers, and mystery card. Hanged man. Eh, I guess temperance. Maybe? Well, that poop slick is going to come in use. It's going to be nice. Ho! Oh, my lord! The sauce! Oh, the sauce on this floor! We're getting all of my favourite things. Even Papa Fly is pretty good. It does your damage, so... Gotta have it. Ooh, chest. No. <laughs> Sorry, but no. I see you, Dominic. We did actually get something good as well. Some help right before the end. The lover's card. Let us go. Mega Satyon, are you ready? Are you ready for love? We get two blood puppies. Hell yes. And we do get the all stats up. Nice. <laughs> Your hands is gone. We're firing so many tears and they're all varieties of messed up from $3 bill and Play-Doh cookie. And on top of that, they're herming. It's just all sorts of amazingly brilliant. You keep trying to show me your face. It never works for you. Ooh, also the poops there just did a good job. And we created a nice amount of poop slick for even more fire rate and damage. I'd probably sound a bit closer, to be honest. 
We've got Parasitoid Tears right now. Get them in there. Nice. Hey, hey, friend. You want all of this? That you do. <laughs> oh, this is just amazing. What a run this is. Oh, what a run. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh, what a run. Hello, friend. I brought you something special. I don't even give a shit if you hit me. Oh, you hit Gluttony, though. He's not going to like that. Shielded tears. <laughs> oh, beautiful. You have been smashed, my ladder. You have been smashed. I don't even think we'll do Void. I, uh, no, we'll do Void. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't even think we'll do, do Void if we get it, but heck it. This build is so fun. Why not? I feel like it'd be rude not to. What the hell? Scratches. Ooh, ooh. Um, I think we go with the twins. The golden twins means we should get quite a lot of extra familiars, which is more stats and just extra familiars. Like, look, in this room, we got an extra twisted pair. I can't be arse dealing with the walls here. You didn't even get a chance to split your big bits. Okay, keep our health high. Yeah, pretty much no matter what it doubles, it's going to be good. But if it doubles Twisted Pair, we're in for a treat. Oh, it's Dogma Babies. Hello. You're not normally allowed to exist. They were uh, an, uh, like a, a cut attack. Right, let's go. Oh, big leech. Big leeches. God damn. When we get Cricket's body, the lag is real. Okay, we're coming across our first boss. It's the cage. Temper tantrum. 25% chance to enter Berserk State when taking damage. While in the state, every enemy has a 10% chance to be erased for the rest of the run. I guess. I don't think it'll be too useful, but we'll take it. Hello, spider boy. That's pretty nice for just popping. Ooh. How will this affect the rest of our uh, boss items, actually? I did not think about that. No, we won't, we won't even get to find out. Sadly, we did not get extra twisted pairs. But this guy did make the major mistake of staying in his base form for this amount of time. Oh, dude. Oh, no, no, no. I feel so sorry for you. Dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? He stayed in his base form, which has no boss armor for the duration of the fight. You, you dumbass. You big piss baby. You've been demolished. Anyways, I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed that thrashing of this run. And I will see you guys in the next one. Where I might not be so hyper. We'll find out. Who knows? Maybe this will never stop. I, I can't stop talking. Anyways, bye.